Hello, and we are back at it again with Power Wash Simulator Part 6. Oh man, if you guys watched Part 5, thank you for watching it, and I'm sorry for the mistake. Now things are much crisper than what it used to be. I finally did the appropriate amount of research to make sure everything's okay, and uh, I had to play the same skate park level three times just to get the final recording there because of all the mess-ups and how Premiere Pro was accepting it and whatnot. But that's okay. That's my headache to bear. But in that small uh, time lapse that we did, and by small I mean it's a 20 minute time lapse, we ended up using the new power washer, which I could show you if I go to heavy duty. I've purchased it. We don't know what the professional duty is just yet. And I could buy some equipment, but I'm pretty broke, so I don't think I can. So work i already know how it works because of the time lapse and the fact that i had to play skate park three times but we're gonna now do these two projects right here we're gonna do the motorbike sidecar and we're gonna do the shoe house so let's start off with the motorbike sidecar this should take no time at all oh okay it's a pretty tiny thing have i gotta re-equip it hold on i know i have it yeah we do and then we're gonna use the short extension yeah okay so uh, this guy's tiny tiny let's see Ooh, look how fast that goes. I mean, obviously I've only got one ding, but like, well, there's two. But yeah, like, it's just, it just feels so good. Look, it already looks clean enough, but it's only 50% done. It's probably got a bunch of, like, nooks and crannies that I gotta watch out for, so let's see if I can find those. <laughs> the list hasn't popped up, and to top it all off, I'm 98% done. What What in the crap? What am I missing? There's so many tiny pieces to this sidecar, and then the sidecar here itself, I just can't... Like, I'm hitting tab right now, and I can't see crap. There we go. Now we're here. Sidecar, sidecar seat, spoke set. So, the sidecar seat's not done yet. Wow. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was the sidecar, though. What about the seat? There we go, now that we've got the seat, and now the spoke set. Oh, I see that. It's like, oh wow, you have to go like inside the rim? That's so meticulous, but hey. I mean, I guess these things have to get a little, uh... They gotta get a little more complicated. Great job on the sidecar, it's never looked better. Tempted to go in for the Appalachian Way Mega Run now. It's always been Bobby's dream. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Let's see, what does the time lapse look like? Ooh. Well, yeah, the first bit looks fantastic, and then I'm pretty sure the remainder of it is just me spraying it with water. Not knowing where the hell the rest of it is. Yeah, there it is. Here it starts. It's just, what? Where is it? <laughs> and then there we go. So now we got the shoe house. Uh, yeah, the shoe house. I thought I said that wrong because nobody says shoe house. Let's get a piece of equipment first for the 3000. If I can. Uh, nope. No, I can't. The only uh, Prime Vista 3000 I can get is the long extension, and that's $400, and we are off by a little bit. Oh, I could get the turbo nozzle. Yeah, sure. Let's let's get the turbo nozzle. That might be of use later. Okay, and then we're going to do this for $450. I'm trying my best to get the episodes nice and compact, but uh, with varying degrees of success. But, ooh, wow, look at this. We got the sole, we got the boot wall, like this, this This looks like a project, but I'm going to be honest with you, this is not going to be as big as a project at the state skate park. Trust me, doing it three times, you know when something's big. Oh, but would you look at that. Even the white nozzle can, look at that, the white nozzle can get rid of the green mold. That's amazing, right? Like, I would not have expected to be able to do this with the white nozzle, but here we are, right? Which then makes the green nozzle... 
very, very efficient for doing stuff like this. It's just almost hypnotizing just how, how like, amazing this feels to do, you know? And, and what's funny is I actually read up on a little bit of the devlogs. They were having, like, this... I wouldn't call it a competition, but it was like a survey or a bet or something like that where they were asking the people who were playing the game what would they would rather have for the next, I think, four levels. And I, I forgot what they were now, but, like, I remember seeing them and thinking, oh, man, that's awesome. I don't care which one wins. I would love to do any of these. So I can't wait for future updates. I'll come back to this game, but I say that as if there's, you know, nothing else left to do. I'm pretty sure there's still plenty to do. I mean, although although I do have the the best power watcher right next to uh, professional duty, this this is like you know this is where it is, right? This is like the best kind of sensation to be able to clean so so nicely. Like look at this, I only have the short extension, and I'm getting to the top or close to the top of this shoe house. This is great. <laughs> what? You got a stinky butt butt. <laughs> oh no. Hey, come on the channel. You do better commentary than I do. <laughs> uh, like, if I could be honest with you guys, I'm more of a reactionary kind of guy where you'll get good input when I react to something. But when it comes to just making stuff up, especially on, like, on the fly, yeah, I know, I'm not too great at that. I want to get better at it because I heard, not heard, but like I know improv is fantastic. I like to kind of do a small story here. Do you guys know Whose Line Is Anyway? I actually really like that show. I remember watching it back when I was a teenager, and it made me laugh to no end with, with what, Drew Carey as the host, right? And um, they did reboot it with, uh, what was her name, Aisha? Like, she's now the host, and they have, like, a majority of the cast back and whatnot. But I don't know, it just doesn't click the same way. Like, the originals were still really funny and whatnot. But, like, uh, that's, like, completely improv comedy, and it was just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Like, I, I loved it, and I would love to do my own kind of improv, but unfortunately, I'm not great at it. Uh, I know, I think you could take, like, classes to get better at improv, but, like, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe trying to practice it on my own, that'd be great. Like, I mean, hey, that's the point of a YouTube channel, right? Kind of do what you want to do, right? And then hopefully feedback comes your way, like constructive criticism, constructive feedback. And then you learn, right? And I actually really uh, enjoy learning stuff because the more I can learn, the better I'll be at certain things. And, uh, you know, who doesn't want to be better at things, you know? So, yeah, like that's just kind of it, it, right? Like that story on improv, I would love to do it, but I think I'd either have to be taught or have to figure it out on my own and actually do a little bit of... You know, give give myself some time, some research, right? And see what I can do. Although I don't think you can really research improv. I don't think that's a researchable thing. Improv, I think, is dependent on the person, right? Everybody's Im improv is going to be different, right? At least that's what I like to think. Like, not everybody's improv is going to be the same. Everyone's going to have their own style. Everyone's going to have their own unique perspective on, like, how to do certain improvs. Like, with Whose Line Is Anyway, to go back to the show... They would always pick random, not really random, it was kind of random, it was in a hat, right? And they would pick a topic out of the hat and they would have to act it out on the spot, you know, i.e. improv. And and some of the, and depending on who was on the show for like the guest star versus the main cast, like it was just really funny. Oh, I want yogurt tube. <laughs> Me too. Oh, when was the last time I had a yogurt tube? Oh uh, yeah, elementary school when I was a kid. Oh man, I, I like yogurt tubes. What were they called? What was the brand name? I forgot the brand name. No, that was my childhood. How did I forget the brand name? John Johnny bit me. Oh, now they're memeing. Now they're memeing. Oh no, but 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 now it's an NFT and this is gonna turn into an NFT. <laughs> oh, I'm still really upset at that. Like what the hell first of all, I don't even understand NFTs. I ate his yogurt. Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, Johnny. He wants yogurt too. Yeah, some kid took a hold of Martha's phone. That's what happens when you have a school. <laughs> You're gonna have your kids take your phone. But anyway, yeah, they're friggin' memeing it up here, which is great. But at the same time, 
I don't understand why the original Charlie Bit Me video is now an NFT that you have to purchase or own, you know, in order to say that you own a part of this video. And I'm just like, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's good for money. But at the same time, like, that was a staple to YouTube, you know? That was sentimental. That's, anybody could have watched it and been done, been done with it. But unfortunately, it is now an NFT, gets removed off of YouTube. Now they're making money off of it, like, oh god, how many years later? Like, the kids that used to be just a baby versus, like, you know, like a baby a three-year-old or a four-year-old. Now they're grown-ass teenagers. I think one's close to being an adult, an 18-year-old adult, right? So, so much time flew by after the Charlie bit me thing. And now it's like, the mom's like, NFT, we need money. And it's like, oh. Guys, I'm not going to start ranting about NFTs and stocks. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I really don't. Right? There's no such thing as fast money. Just work. Work hard and you'll be happy. Provided you're doing what makes you happy and you're working hard at that thing, then you'll be happy. If you're working hard in a place that you hate, then you're, you're not going to be happy if you're working hard. You know? That's kind of how that works. So if you're doing something that makes you happy and you're working hard at it, that's that's it. That's that's where life can get. That's, that's my, uh, my little philosophy on life, right? Just work towards what makes you happy. See if it can make you some money for the sake of survival. And then enjoy life like that. Whatever amount of money that you need to enjoy life is whatever amount of money you need. Some people want need more, some people need not as much, and can live a much more humbler life. And, you know, like that's, that's just kind of like my perspective on the matter. Oh, Doc, we found a mucky old thing in our garage. Let us know when you're free to come over and give it a wash. Oh, okay, so they got a new job for us. Awesome, awesome. Uh, definitely gonna do it probably in the next part, because uh, this part I don't want to... <laughs> I don't, I'm going poop. <laughs> okay, but like, okay, so here's, I have to stop power washing because I need to get this point through. If there's a kid, right, who needs the poo, who, to, I, <laughs> I done it. It's just a poop joke. Why am I laughing at it? Oh my God. But like, why are they texting somebody? Like that, this is assuming this is, seven six no not even seven like four-year-old five-year-old six-year-old is texting their teacher things and instead of talk going up to the teacher and say hey i need the party right <laughs> now they're just texting what this is the era that we're in right now four-year-olds can text goes to the teacher gets all their gets her phone number his or her phone number and goes i'm going to poo poo <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's the era that we're in right now four-year-old starts texting their <laughs> freaking preschool teacher <laughs> I need to poop. <laughs> oh my god. What have I become? I can't believe I'm uttering this 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 stuff on YouTube. Oh my god. <laughs> I went from talking about improv whose land is anyway to poop. <laughs> As does every YouTuber, supposedly. realized uh i just realized that this is a reference this is a boot school right so this is a, i think this is a reference to hansel and gretel i, I could be wrong though but that, that's what i'm assuming right because there was a school or like a house that's shaped like a boot right and then there were the children and then you know well you read the rest of the grim story if you want to know more about that but <laughs> um but yeah like that's i just realized that also this thing looks like a banana I'm not sure if that was intentional, but it looks like a banana. I think all that's left for me to do now is, like, the roof. Oh, no, hold on. There's a window here that I missed. But, like, I haven't used the ladder once, though. So the fact that I was able to get this this far without using the ladder, almost 80% done, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's definitely pretty good. So let's see here. This, okay. I'm so sorry about all that. Charlie found my phone. Yeah, that's Charlie. It's Charlie. Yeah, I knew it. I, I knew it. <laughs> there was absolutely a reference. Like, why, you know, like, why wouldn't there be a reference? Like, I, lo I love games that do references. I really do. 
Uh, like, when it's only references, then it kind of gets a little stale because I'm like, okay, cool, I like the references, and I appreciate that, but can we get a story, please, and thank you? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of one of the reasons why I I purchased this game. I think I need to switch to the uh, stubby, the stubby gun because I can't, you know, like, I can't get too close here. Now I can't. There we go. Still kind of difficult, but... Oh, this would be maybe a good time to try out the auto. Yeah, there we go. Oh wow, this this thing is much faster than the the uh, the other one for the other two guns. Okay, now how the hell do I clean this? Oh wow, like like hold on, no, I'm actually curious because like look, I, I'm having a hard time getting in here and there's this nothing but dirt. Oh, this is gonna be tough. This is a nook and cranny kind of thing. Let's grab our ladder. And go somewhere else. Like, we don't need it here because I can parkour my way up there. Uh, let's try... Oh, yeah. Let's go this side. All right. Clean this stuff off. A lot of wooden trims on this one. Lots and lots of wooden trims. I'm going to use this stubby gun because I got to reach, like, in here, right? Like, this is going to be pretty tough. I guess, I, do I'm not forced to, am I going to be forced to use a, a cleaner? Hmm, let's hope not. I really don't want to. Like I said, water only run. I get these. Hold on. Maybe the red one? Or this one? See, it, it, I want to say that it works, right? But not really, because I hit the top of the ladder. Right? And then I hit my head on the roof here. And then I can't really wash it. I'm using the stubby gun right now. So I'm really having a hard time you know, just trying to overall figure out how to how to clean that little bit down there. And I know it's essential to kind of get that nook and cranny done, especially since it's sitting, like, right here. Like, there's nothing I can do. Oh, man, like, how, how am I going to get that? I guess that counts. Like, I guess they knew. I guess they knew that it was really difficult to be able to get something like that. I mean, we're so high up, and I gotta figure out how to... Like, how to get the rest of the pieces here. Like, this is actually a little a little more troublesome, only because of all the wooden trim, actually, more than anything else. Oops, wrong key. Like, I'm probably missing uh, quite a few wooden trims right and then like these i suppose wooden what is this tops okay so i gotta do the tops here okay so wooden tops done oh man i'm 99 percent done but i don't know what i'm doing so hold on uh let's see the door frame 99 percent eyelets what the hell is an eyelet roof yeah i knew shoelaces i missed two shoelaces uh, one more window box, two more window frames, and four more win wooden trims. Okay, so the fact that I missed the door frame by 1% is kind of bad. Uh, let's see if I can clean this up. Stop hitting the wrong key. Oh, those are the eyelets. They're the things that hold the shoelaces. That's what they're called? You could have fooled me. I just called them holes. Perfect. That's the first time I used the uh, the auto nozzle 
What's it called? The, yeah, the, the spinning turbo nozzle. That's pretty good. Okay, so what am I missing now? So one more boot wall, three more eyelets, uh, one more shoelace, which I couldn't really find. I'm going to look again. One window box and two frames and one more trim. Oh, fun. It had to be one trim. All right, let's get this done. Okay, what the hell am I still missing? Hold on. One more boot wall. I gotta look for that. A window box, a window frame, and one more trim. Okay. I'm missing a boot wall. Oh, this this boot wall. Okay. Okay, so now the to-do list popped up. The window box, the window frame, and a window trim. So the window trim is going to be a pain to find unless I find it really soon. The window frame, though, I don't know which frame. It could be... Uh, it could be... Okay, that's the window box, I'm pretty sure. Window frame, window frame, window frame. My window frames are fine. What's going on? Oh, unless this counts. Oh. Okay. Wooden trim. That's going to be the fun one to find. But the window box, on the other hand, it's this guy, right? At least I think. What the hell is a wooden box? Hold on. I mean, I know what a wooden box is. It's just, what is it in this context? Oh, found the wooden trim. Okay. That still leaves the window, a window box. Yeah, so it's a window. And it's a box? What, what does it mean? What the hell is a window box? Like, this is a window frame. This is the window. Window frame. Frame. Right? What the hell is a window box? Like, what, what language is this? Are you sure this is the English language? Because I'm having a hard time believing you. Oh, that's a window box. This stupid thing. I missed one? Oh, yeah, it's right here. It's literally smacked me right in the face. There we go. Hello, our forest home puts the gro in grotto. Haha, -ha. could you come and give it a spring clean, please? Oh, okay. Sure, I suppose. And Martha, you're a wonder. The play school looks beautiful. Screw you. <laughs> the children are so calm now. I can hear the birds of the forest again. The wind rustling through the leaves. Even my own heartbeat. I hope. Something, something. Damn it. I'm getting trying to get better at reading. It's kind of working. But nice. That's a clean boot. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, like, this time-lapse still looks fantastic. It's just unfortunate that, as you can tell, this is me cleaning the back, and then I get back to it. Sorry about that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> and then, yeah, so if only they can do, like, a 360 pan, that would be fantastic. But that's okay. Oh, okay, so we got a vintage car next and a forest cottage. Both relatively small profits, which means it's not going to be that hard of a job. But let's see if I can purchase something with the $615 that I have. The long extension? You bet. And then that's it. I'm not buying anything else because I'm not buying any cleaners. I got the turbo nozzle and I'm only ever going to use this powerful one because why the hell would I use anything else? I think the only thing now is to wait and see when I get to unlock this professional duty power washer. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And the next episode I'm going to do is going to be another twofer. We got a car and we got a, and a, and a, a forest house. So I will see you guys in the next part. Take care of yourselves, all right?